Hi everybody, Andrea here. So who wants to learn how to get their email inbox down to zero? I'm going to teach you guys a couple different ways of doing this and what I have personally been doing. So I don't know about you, how many emails you have, but when I checked my email account, I do have a couple different emails, but what I had in my inbox of one of them was 17 thousand emails. You might be wondering, how is this possible? It's literally because I don't delete anything. And I've had that email for several, several years. I have several businesses. So it's not just friends and family emailing me. It's, I probably get at least 30 emails a day, just from students, dental professionals, people asking questions, part of this YouTube channel, everything, right? So 17,000 emails. I had posted a photo on my Instagram with a screenshot being like, oh my god is anybody like me so comment below I'm curious how many emails do you have currently in your inbox I have different email accounts so I have a personal one I have a business one actually a couple different business ones and that was the most with 17,000 in my personal account I think I had like 9,000 but that's still a lot, isn't it? So let me teach you how you can get your inbox down to zero. I'm going to be sharing my screen. So I want to talk to you guys about, you could archive your emails, you could get a whole new email address, or you can simply just create a bunch of labels, but I'm going to show you guys how to archive them. So I just sent some test emails to myself. I have cleared out everything because I didn't want to share anybody's private emails or email contents on here while I was showing you this. So how do you archive messages? So this box up here, you want to click that and that is going to select all. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Did I send myself two different emails? Okay. So typically that is selecting all for some reason it's not working, but try it on your end. It's going to select all I promise. I'm not really sure what's happening, but then you want to go up here to archive. So click that and see okay so it's so this sent everything to my archived email list so do this now when I had my 17,000 emails this probably took about five minutes it's not a long time of course but this one took like what point one of a second so keep in mind you will see a loading screen depending on the amount of emails you have now where do you now find these archived emails it's not where you think you would think it'd be over to the left under archive right well, no, they make it a little more confusing. It is under all mail. So you might have to click the little downward arrow, click all mail. These are the ones that I have archived. There's clearly a ton because um, I was doing this all before. So that is one way to do it. But you guys, the key to keep your email box to zero, but also to delete those older emails, because if you just keep sending everything to archive, well, you're going to run out of storage space eventually. That's what happened to me. I would just archive everything when I got sick of looking through it, but I would never delete emails. So remember to start deleting emails that are coming in that you don't want. Um, but the ones you want to save, I'm going to teach you how to put them into labels and then how you're going to be looking in those labeled folders eventually and then just deleting the ones you don't need. So let me show you that. So back to that screen again, how to create a label. The labels are over to the left hand side here. You could easily click the plus sign. Let's say we want one for junk mail. Now this is junk mail that let's say it's junk mail. You don't need to see it all the time, but you still want to get those emails such as Bath and Body Works. So I like to keep those emails because every month or two months or three months, I might be curious what kind of soaps they have, what kind of candles, when are their sales? So I'll be monitoring their their, da their daily emails because they send a lot over the next two weeks to find the best sale. So that's junk mail, but I want to keep those. So I have created my own folder for that. But let's say all of the junk mail that you know you don't want and you've tried to unsubscribe, but it doesn't really work. Those you could easily put into a folder that is already created, such as the promotions folder. I believe social is already created, that kind of thing. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to send myself an email and then I'm going to teach you guys how to put things into folder. So I'm not sharing my screen for a sec. I'm just sending myself a test email again. Okay. Now I'm going to share my screen. So let's say you got this, this email, click on that. Let's say this is a junk email or at the very least, you know what folder to put it into. You want to go into these three lines here and then you want to click 
um, filter messages like this. This is what it's going to do. And then you want to do create filter. And then if you want to skip the inbox, you're going to click this. This just means when any email from that address comes in, it's going to skip the inbox and go directly to the folder you pick. You could apply it to all other emails that you have so far. That's what I normally do. So skip the inbox, apply the label and apply the filter. Feel free to stop this video or go back if you need to hear that again. Create the filter. So from now on, everything is going to go in from that email into this junk mail folder. And the key with that is let's say once a week, once a month or however you want to do it. Go into those certain folders and then delete the ones that aren't there. But always keep your inbox to zero. So when you are going through your emails, first decide, do I want to delete it? Do I really need it? Or do I want to keep it? Don't treat your inbox as a catch all. Don't do that. Put your email into a folder. So let's say that junk one that I was telling you about, either keep it in your inbox. If you're going to perform an action on it, you're going to do something with it or just automatically put it into a folder. But at the end of the month or the end of the week, however you decide to do it, I suggest going into that junk folder and then looking through them and then deleting the old ones, the ones you don't need. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but that's just adding more storage. You'll end up having to pay for more storage space for emails you don't need. But let me show you this again. Doesn't this inbox, you guys, look amazing? Doesn't this make you feel so much better? You are literally performing digital decluttering, okay? So comment below if you guys have any questions. This video is for anybody. You don't have to be a dental, a dental professional to want to clear out your inbox. But this is my channel, and I figure if I'm having issues with my email inbox, other people might be too. My students, dental professionals, patients who are watching this YouTube channel, so I really wanted to help out, and I went to YouTube to figure out how to do this. So I've summed it up for you. I really hope this helps. Comment below if you need anything and something new, you guys. If you do like my channel, I now have an online form community, Dental L Network, where I will leave the link for you guys down below in the description of this video. Feel free to join that network. You can comment, post anytime, and I'm going to get back to you within 24 hours. YouTube is very, very difficult to get back to people because I'm getting so many comments but in the community it's going to be so much easier because I'm going to get proper notifications and if you really cared that much to hear from me then I would love you to join my community anyway so then we can kind of have other talks one-on-ones whatever you want because I am here to help you guys I am all things dental dental professionals dental hygiene students dental assisting students if you need me I am here to help I have owned and been the operator of dental L tutoring for 18 years so I would love to help you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And please comment below because I am curious, how many emails did you have in your email inbox? Thank you guys. Bye for now.